どうやら議論の結論が出たみてえだなおっとつい野生的な一面が出ちゃったよさっきのお肉の映像かしらなんて冗談はさておきそれでは緊張の投票タイムと聞きましょうかではお前らはお手元のスイッチを押して投票してくださいあ念のために言っておくけど必ず誰かに投票するようにしてね投票しねえやつはさっきのニコみたいに食っちまうぜ<笑>どうしてこんなことに投票の結果黒となるのは誰かその答えは正解なのか不正解なのかプップップップップップワクワクのドキドキだよね I think we have it in the bag I think タロタロ is definitely gonna get chosen as the killer So let's see, vote is Teru Teru, the guilty party. Sorry, buddy. You lost. Last trial end. Cool, we got it right. That's right, this time the black and responsible for killing Biyaku Yutagami is Teru Teru Hanamura. And he's still in very much denial. Serious? Out of all these people, you're seeing a ponce like him is the one who killed Biakuya? But. Why? Why did you kill him? It, it was a mistake. I'm telling you, it was a, just a mistake. I was only trying to save you guys. Save us? How is that a mistake? What does that. You are lying. I was only trying to stop Nagito from murdering one of you. Huh? Trying to stop? What do you mean? I spent all morning in the old building preparing the dishes for the party uh, and, and then I heard the weird laughter near the dining hall and when I peeked over there I saw him. I saw Nagito in the middle of cleaning duty putting the knife under the table. I had a bad feeling about it, so I continued to watch what he was doing. And I saw him place the irons he bought in the storage rooms and mess with the air conditioning timers. Plus he was grinning, just grinning by himself the whole time. So I questioned him. When that happened, he... Oh, I have been caught. Be been caught? What are you doing? Oh, what are you scheming? <laughs> I'm planning to kill someone, of course. <laughs> Teru Teru, just to let you know, it's pointless of you to stop me. If you stop me now, it doesn't matter. I will never give up. Whether it's tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, or the days beyond that, I'll definitely start the killing. <laughs> oh, well, what? No matter how much you want to leave this island, that is just... I see, so that's what you think. Oh, no, no. But that's not it at all. This isn't about my survival. I just want the killing to start. No, what no. are you saying? <laughs> I love everyone here. That's why I want to be of good use to them. I love all of the ultimates. And I admire them for being symbols of hope. <laughs> that's right. In the name of hope, I love everyone's talents from the bottom of my heart. That's why. <laughs> I don't want them to lose against something like killing. I want them to prove to me that hope will never lose. No matter how daunting the despair they face may seem. <laughs> I want everyone to prove to me that hope will never lose to despair. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what are you saying? I don't understand at all. <laughs> See, isn't it typical that if you face a strong enemy, you will become even stronger yourself? Which means, the stronger the despair you face, the stronger everyone's hope will become, right? I want to see that brightness. And in order to see it, I'm going to become everybody's stepping stone. I want to make your hope shine. It's as simple as that. That's right, I yearn for a powerful hope that can overcome any kind of despair. 
Are you kidding? Don't tell me you're actually serious. So you don't understand. That's fine. I don't really mind. I'm just an obsessed fanboy. So it's alright that this love of mine is unrequited. I suppose I can be called the ultimate, ultimate fanatic. You, there is something wrong with you. Really? Do you really think so? Do you really think there's something wrong with me? But isn't that what love is? Nagito, what's the meaning of this? Explain it. I don't understand anything about the story at all. You see, if you have a favorite boxer, did you want him to fight against a strong opponent and win? You better not compare us to that! Am I wrong? It's a given that trials are necessary to become strong, and the harsher the trial, the stronger you become, no? <laughs> for mere humans, killings are simply a tragedy, but for worthy humans, a trial such as this can elevate their status to an even higher level. It's amazing to me that someone as untalented as myself can become that trial. There's no point in someone like me surviving. It's far more significant for me to die as everyone's trial. There's no greater honor than becoming the foundation so that your values may ascend to brave new heights. Stop it. You're seriously starting to piss me off. I don't understand at all. Are you saying you basically wanted to commit murder for fun? <laughs> it's not the same as someone killing for fun, but I guess it would look the same in your eyes. I have no intention of surviving and leaving you all to die. Is that why you didn't mind Terry Terry discovering your plan? Or perhaps that was intentional too. Huh? Like you don't want to involve us in the killing. Plus it'd be better for him if the mystery was more complex. Is that why you blatantly revealed your plan to Terry Terry? You expected to pique Terry Terry's curiosity. He looks forward to the mystery becoming more complex. <sighs> well, you're basically right. It's true I was looking forward to that. Oh, basically similar to Biakuya in the first game, what he did with, um, uh, what's her name, or what's his name, the guy who dressed up as the girl, Jiro, yeah. That's why I took the time to tell him about the secret passage I found while I was screaming. That was your doing as well. I just casually mentioned it. Oh, it's dangerous if you fall, so don't get too close to it. This dude is seriously gone batshit crazy. He's insane. That's the right. That's why I tried to stop him, you know. But why? Why did you kill Bia Queen instead? I, I do not know. Because Nagito was the one who was supposed to take that knife. That is why I aimed and trusted the iron squirrel there. But why is Bia Queen the one who died? It was supposed to be Nagito, not him. Bikuya probably tried to stop Nagito from grabbing the knife, and then in place of Nagito? Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that's it. Huh? Bikuya was probably trying to protect Nagito. What did you say? Cause Bikuya said so, didn't he? Don't worry, as long as I'm the leader, I won't let anyone become a victim. I will guide you, that much I promise. Could it be in order to keep that promise? As long as he was wearing the night vision goggles, I'm sure he saw someone moving under the floorboards. And that someone was aiming for Nagito. So Biakui gave his life to protect Nagito? Even though he was trying to take the knife? <laughs> I see. Biakui is amazing. To keep his promise to protect everyone, he actually threw his own life away. And yet, I never expected an ending like this. Such despair. What? <laughs> but we shouldn't let him die in vain. I'm sure everyone will become even stronger by overcoming this despair. <laughs> Could it be? You knew Biakuya would protect you, so you set him up to fail? <laughs> of course not. I'm not that good at calculating. I just took some precautionary measures. The results that were going to be my fun for later. Just kidding. <laughs> I never expected it would turn out like this. I never thought I'd be the one to survive. But since it was my life that had been saved, I didn't want to just waste it. So that's why I decided to help Terry Terry. Why? <laughs> well, because Terry Terry decided to commit his crime because he also had strong hope, right? Which means his actions were motivated by hope. If he was willing to go that far, I thought he might truly be the person whose existence I was waiting for. 
I thought he might be the hope that could defeat any type of despair. In order for me to confirm it, I decided to help Teru Teru. What do you mean confirm? Just stop it already. <sighs> Plus, I couldn't really help myself when I also empathized with Teru Teru. After all, he wanted to kill me, but he ended up killing BAK instead, you know? If I had left him in that confused state, this trial might have been ruined, right? But in order for our hope to grow, this trial was absolutely necessary. That's why I decided to help him. I told him, I don't care if I die, so you should just focus on escaping this island. What? Those were my exact words to him before the investigation. Isn't that right, Teru Teru? <laughs> Still though, like, despite all of this, Teru Teru fucked up. Like, if you knew of Nagido's plan, you should have just come out and told us what he was doing. We could have found the knife, seen, you know, hey, indeed, that is Nagido, and we could have done something about it and nobody would have died. But you get selfish. You saw this as a way to escape yourself as well. And that's why you killed, went through with it and tried to kill someone. In the end, my help just wasn't enough, and this turned out to be a bad ending for Terry Terror. <laughs> you should be proud of yourself. You won't die in vain. You will become a splendid sacrifice for everyone else, so our hopes can grow even more powerful. So sacrifice? Seriously, stop it already. I'm gonna go crazy just listening. Hey, is it really okay for us to still leave this crazy bastard alone like this? Isn't it better if we just fucking kill him off? Yeah, kill, he said. High school students are so violent these days. But the person who's gonna get killed now isn't Nagido. It's Teru Teru. You did forget, right? Because I already told you at the beginning, right? If the black killer loses, a punishment awaits them. Uh, hold on. That, that was, how should I put it? An accident, um, an act of self-defense, uh, not intentional. Anyway, I feel it is possibly not my fault. It doesn't matter if it's an accident, self-defense, or intentional. A murder is still murder. If you kill someone, that's murder. But isn't there anything like sympathy judgments, extenuating circumstances, maybe even probation? I don't accept any of those claims. Th that's not... Hey, save me, you guys. I was only trying to stop Nagito, so... Be honest. After learning Nagito's plan, you saw an opportunity, right? You probably thought nobody would find out if you killed him after messing up his plan, right? That's why you thought, right? Y you are w wrong, I, I, I... There's no way a person who has no mouths would kill someone like that. In truth, you were just desperate to kill Nagito and willing to sacrifice everybody else to survive, right? Just be honest already, at least in the end. Teru Teru. If only you didn't try to kill Nagido, but you could would still be alive. Why did you try to commit murder? Answer me, Teru Teru. <laughs> I, I just I just wanted to go home. I need to go back home no matter what. Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She is waiting all by herself. For the day I graduate, help speak academy and come home. じゃあ、行ってくるね。次に戻ってくる時は青山支店と麻布支店の話も一緒だと思うよ。まあ、またそんなことばかり言ってるよ。冗談なんかじゃないって。だって卒業したら成功を約束される学校なんだよ。だから
She is still waiting for me. That is why I need to go home. Military Teru. You were willing to sacrifice every last one of us to go back home. And that's not the way it goes. That's... That's still selfish. I mean, even if you did it for your mother, and I understand that you can really love your mother, but sacrificing 50 others for that goal is not the right thing to do. <laughs> but if we were told our memories were stolen, and that several years have passed since our first day, then what happened to the Hanumura dinner? What happened to my mom, who is still waiting for me? So you did believe what Monokuma said. You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? I, I still don't believe it? There is no way I can believe it. it. It has to be a lie. That is why I wanted to go home. I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to call home. Terror, terror you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Terry Terry didn't believe it. He believes it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it. Because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Because it being true would be his biggest nightmare. If only I knew how he felt. Something like this would have never happened. I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagito's plan. I found that he was going to kill someone. If I left him alone. <laughs> That's why. That, that is why. Hi. So you wanted the first kill. Oh, I am sorry you guys. If it doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you. But it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Biakuya. Instead of Nagito. Ah I see. I think I'm the only one. Who went crazy. Terror terror. I see I see. Interesting but. As far as motives to kill are concerned, wanting to see your mom is so boring. So, it seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow. Let's hurry up and begin the punishment. No, you can't. There, now that the annoying little sister has been dealt with. Let's get back to business. Hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at, at least... <laughs> Call me ship. No wait, that's not what I... Oh. Please, please, oh please at least tell me what happened to the Hanamura dinner. To Mama. Well, let's see what brutal things Monokuma has in store for us. Lies, I won't believe this. I won't believe it. Mama! Ah, oh, they still have the cool sprites. They did update it a little bit, but it still looks very awesome. Although a little bit more anti-alias than in the previous game. Anyway, punishment time.
Okay, they literally deep fried him. That is indeed pretty extreme. Ah. Uh, wow, sorry, Teru Teru. The adrenaline is rushing through me. Teru Teru, are you fucking serious? Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Huh? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouth it read it to you in front of the class. Yeah. When that happens, only then do you think about how it feels to be badmouthed. The same applies to murder. You're the one who drove him to do it. <laughs> so cruel. This is just too cruel. Well, it can be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Mm -hmm. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me the catch is. Mm -hmm. Figured it out yet? That's right, you guys have to kill each other. This is my bargaining point. You guys want to know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing. A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories. What? Why didn't you tell Terry Terry about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know. Yeah, us too. We all have a right to know. Hurry up and tell us. What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? Oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. What? You're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... But I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? That's not fair. Of course, I'll keep my promise to return your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> Typical Monokuma. I must excuse myself as well. There's something I need to do. Huh? What the heck? <laughs> That's not fair. They both ran away. <laughs> when Akuma had his wrapped around his finger after all. <laughs> Terror, terror, you stupid. <laughs> Nothing like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. <laughs> you, why are you smiling? How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Mm. Hold on, I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. <laughs> Don't go saying creepy shit, I'll fucking kill you! <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. No. Huh? <laughs> if you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You, how messed up are you? Mm. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can cooperate with the killer. You're seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> it's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hope Street Academy, if you're the symbols of hope and possess the chosen talent, then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Hmm, declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Maybe it was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Biakria, I'm starting to feel a small desire to live. Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> just kidding. Hey, can I punch ya? I just won't be satisfied till I punch ya. Fine, let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time if we keep dealing with him. Huh? Even Ajime hates me now? That stinks. I felt you and I were quite similar. What does that? You hold a special feeling towards Hope Street Academy. Just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Mm. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> now, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, 
The same as not knowing our true selves, too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can't even remember what his talent is. I can't even. Please feel free to punch him. Yeah. Will do! Try not to burst out of your clothes as you do it, though. <laughs> Hold on. Please stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there's something else that we must do. Huh? Something else? We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There's something more important we must do. Oh. Which is... Do our best. Kisomo. We must first leave here and get some rest. Then we shall all work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. That's what I believe we must do right now. I'm sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Hi. Yes, that's right. But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I do not know, but we must do our best. Jeez, I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? It's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. So, let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. It's scary, but doing our best is our only option. There's no way I'm doing what Nagito said. Alright, I don't know what you're all talking about, but let's do our best for now. Very well. Even if we are not able to change the future, I guess it should at least change my tomorrow. <laughs> Damn fiend, I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island. Do our best. We kept using the phrase over and over again. Even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it. And we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial, where Biakuya and Teru Teru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way you could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed and began walking around the hotel grounds for no reason. If we're not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. Starry sky once more, huh? And there, just like before, there it was, the night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can not go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Are the timers coming into play? What is going on? 19 days. Hmm. But there we go. That finishes off Chapter 1, Destination Despair. Only 14 students are still alive. And we get the three star badge present. And also the wooden stick present. But that's gonna do it for now. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope I see you all in the next one when we start chapter two. <laughs>